Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got a problem with the G35 that most of us can probably relate to because we either have that issue or had that issue in the past. And today, we're gonna go ahead and try to fix that and show you guys how to do it. If you like the video, don't forget to comment down below and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, bye. So recently here in Sacramento, the temperature has dropped significantly. It is now winter. It went from having 110 degree days to having 40 degrees days, almost 35 degrees days some days. So it went down like from one day to another. I kid you not as you can see our taillights are currently off because one day i was you know gonna ride in my g35 and i noticed that there was some fogging going on inside my tail light i have experienced this before on my headlights but i went ahead and took them off resealed them with silicone and we have not had that issue since as you can see it's really really cold here and you can see there's wetness but that's all in the exterior you just wipe it off and the headlight is okay however we do not have the oem tail lights we actually got custom chrome tail lights on my g35 there is a hole somewhere and that's what's causing our tail light to condense i'm actually not sure if condense is a word but condensation that's what i meant and i cannot actually explain the scientific stuff of condensation i know it's when freaking water turns into gas or something like that but basically condensation happens inside your tail light fogging all that stuff happens because there's a hole inside your tail light housing that's allowing air to go in and causing the the heat inside to kind of cool down and become water vapor and it gets it gets fogged up so let me go inside and show you guys the tail lights and by the way before we go in this is the silicone we're gonna use this is just a uh, silicone and it's black and that's it so here is what my tail light looked before anyways my g35 tail lights ended up uh, condensing you can see there's condensation here condensation there there was a lot more here it kind of dried up there's some here and there's some here and then now this is what my tail light looks now <clears throat> it's all dried up uh, last time i installed the silicone you can see it right there i pretty much installed it just how it came out of the tube but he says you really gotta push it and spread it around so it fills up all the holes and cracks that you may not see with the naked eye so that's what we're gonna do today now at this point you guys are probably like okay cool i know how to seal them awesome thank you very much but one problem we still have water inside my freaking tail light. how do i get it out well don't fret my friend i got you so here's what you do you got two options option number one you can leave your tail light out in the sun and the sun will eventually evaporate all the water inside and clearing them up just like this however if you live in a state or somewhere where it's really really cold right now and these are not going to dry or at least take a really really long time to dry then I suggest option number two. Quick little disclaimer, okay? I'm experiencing condensation, which is like fog, very, very small water, right? If you have huge water droplets in there, it's most likely that you have a hole and water got inside. For that, you might need to actually crack open your lens, like take the tail light out apart and clean the inside and re-glue them back together, okay? That's something different, but condensation is usually up here like foggy. That you can do this way. Anyways, option two. So with option two, you just grab, you know, if you don't have one, go to your local store, grab a blow dryer. If you have a heat gun, that works as well. I put it in the hot setting right there, hot and then just go either low or high but what you want to do is basically go over the lens don't stick it in one spot like that and let it heat up a lot because what that will do it will heat up the lens so much that it will actually dry up the water inside but because it got so hot when it cools down to the room temperature it'll actually fog up again so don't do that heat it up the whole tail light evenly let the whole lens warm up a little bit Kind of feel it if it's getting too hot, like relax on the blow dryer, let it cool off a little bit. It'll dry up the water inside. Once it starts cooling off, then you can kind of go, go back and blow it again, but don't let it get too hot because when it cools down, it's gonna fog up again. So just kind of go over it lightly like that and eventually it'll start drying up pretty quickly. You can do this in about 30 to 30 minutes. So our lens is now dry and then let's go ahead and seal it. So we now have the tail light on our small little working table. So what I'm actually gonna try to do first is go around the entire housing and remove any prior silicone that I did in the past, like right there, you can see, let me try to remove that. So I can just put a new layer of uh, silicone on there, there you go. I guess we pretty much added silicone all over. This is the one that wasn't fogging, but regardless, I still put some just in case uh, 
kind of double seal, just peace of mind, I guess. At this point, it's really just cross your fingers and hope that you sealed all the holes. If you sealed it and then you put it back outside and it's still experiencing condensation, of course, there's still an open hole that you probably cannot see, but it's there and it's allowing air to seep in. You can either try to reseal it and find the hole. If not, then just buy either a new tail light or crack it open and try to reseal. All right guys, it's now nighttime, but quick little update. I went ahead and resealed the tail lights. I put them out in the sun and they were kind of condensing back again, a little bit less than last time, but they were condensing. So I brought them back in, resealed them like, I don't even know how I can possibly reseal, but I added even more silicone around it. Now I took them outside and I think they're doing okay. I left them outside for like two hours now. It's even colder outside. I even warmed the tail lights up right here inside of my room, heated it up, make sure the tail light was hot, and then took it outside in the super cold so that it gives it the maximum effect of condensation. And let's go check if they're condensed. So this is the other tail light. This wasn't condensing, but just wanna let you guys know that it's fine. Let's check out the tail light. The tail light so far looks fine actually oh, actually right there a little bit you can see it right there damn it oh and right there underneath the tail light too i mean the halo let's come let's bring it in and try to reseal that bottom end all right guys we are now doing the final test on these tail lights went ahead and resealed every single thing on this tail light that one's the one that was fogging up whoa don't fall there buddy that one was the one that's fogging up it did fog up after i resealed it for the first time i resealed this one three times now i think this one is completely sealed it hasn't been fogging up i took it outside heated it up took it inside and it hasn't heated and it hasn't fogged up bless you so i think this one's fixed like i said we're gonna do the ultimate test leave it outside for a couple days see if it fogs up this one wasn't experiencing any condensation but then again we did seal this one twice as well just to double check press the brakes yes sir Yes, sir. Can you put in the emergency signals? There you go. Perfect. They're working. Awesome sauce for Gucci and the Coochie. All right, so let's see if they fog up. They shouldn't. Hopefully the G35 is mint now. Nice and sealed. And let's go take it out for a drive before it rains. It's going to rain again. So go like this to the middle thing. Make sure it's in neutral. Yep. That's a Oh, say less. <laughs> hey. Press the brake and then press the clutch all the way down a little bit. It's kind of hard. Let it go. Do it one more time. Ben? Now raise up the car. Press the middle button. We're gonna go to Walmart for a quick trip. And let's see if it since the since the tail lights are now on, hopefully it's gonna produce some heat inside the tail light itself. If there's any holes whatsoever, that heat will cool down and condensation will form. If we successfully seal the tail light though, uh, the tail light will not fog up and it will not condense and it will look just perfectly fine. So um, we'll find out when we get to Walmart and see the true test if we if we did a good job or not. So, right now, enjoy some some sounds of the car real quick. Right, guys we are back from walmart and let's check let's actually wipe this off spray this all clear and everything looks clear so i think we may be good to go like i said i'm gonna leave it overnight so we have any more condensation and if we do i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the comments down below but if i don't then we're all good to go this video was successful and our tail lights are gonna look good as hell anyways thank you guys for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace